Well, good evening and welcome to uh, Founders MCC's Ash Wednesday service. Reverend Alejandro will be um, speaking some as well as some other folks. And um, I'm going to turn it over to him to greet some people in just a moment, but we wanna say a special welcome to the folks from Founders as well as our uh, sister church over, well, actually, I think it's our daughter church. Since we're the mother church, I guess we have daughter churches all over the world. And so our daughter church at uh, MCC, UCC in the Valley, and we put out an invitation all over the world. So there may be people joining us from other places as well. We just want to say welcome. Reverend Alejandro, would you extend that same welcome? Les queremos dar las gracias por acompañarnos, uh, no solamente nuestra familia en ICM fundadora, pero también nuestra iglesia uh, hermana o nuestra hija iglesia uh, en el Valle. Uh, como dijo Reverendo Keith Mozingo, nuestra in invitación se extendió uh, a través de todo el mundo. So our focus for Lent, which tonight starts, this service starts the beginning of Lent for us, our, our, um, I'm sorry, there are all these planes going over my house, so I'm not sure if you can hear me okay. Hopefully you can. Um, there, uh, our focus on Lent, the Lenten season this year is resilience. Now, Reverend Alejandro has pushed and pushed and pushed for us to, um, to focus on resilience. And so we have put together um, a whole series on resilience. And the first step of that is this evening's focus, which is rest and reflect. So, uh, para esta noche y para la temporada de cuaresma, estamos enfocándonos en el tema de resiliencia. Dijo Reverendo Keith que yo he empujado este tema. Lo empujé, lo empujé y no la dejé. Entonces, para cuaresma, vamos a estar meditando. Cada Hoy empezando con descansar y reflexionar. Y cada domingo, otro tema basado en el principio de uh, resiliencia. So now we want to invite you to click on the little chat button at the bottom and answer these questions. Chat with each other for a moment. We'll also have some music going. But we want to know, how are you finding rest during this COVID-19 outbreak? And is this the same? Are you getting the same kind of rest that you were pre-COVID? And do you have to be more intentional now than you were before COVID? Entonces, uh, les vamos a dar la invitación que contesten estas uh, preguntas que se basan en la invitación de compartir a través del chat uh, en su propia idioma uh, si ¿Cómo están descansando durante COVID-19? Y si es lo mismo, si la manera que están descansando es lo mismo antes de COVID-19. ¿Y en qué manera tienen que ser intencional ahora uh, para descansar? We're going to use these uh, a little bit later just to remind you. Uh, we're going to copy your answers. And later on during the Lenten season, we're going to see if your rest and reflection has improved. So, uh, uh, vamos a estar copiando sus uh, respuestas para que durante la cuaresma se pueden presentar y ustedes mismos van a poder ver en qué manera han cambiado. Si, si su manera de descansar se ha mejorado o si necesitan más atención. And this will be anonymous, right? When we present them? Yes. Yes. So, va a ser ahí uh, anónimo. So, no se tienen que preguntar que vamos a tener su nombre. You have a couple of minutes to chat while the next song plays. Uno minuto mientras la canción se toca.
Now, our, first reading. Our first reading this evening is taken from the book of Joel, chapter 2, verses 12 to 17 from the New International Version. The prophet invites us to rest, reflect, and have a sincere commitment to change. Even now, declares the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Rend your heart and not your garments. Return to the Lord your God, for God is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and abounding in love. God relents from sending calamity. Who knows? God may turn and relent and leave behind a blessing, grain offerings and drink offerings for the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion. Declare a holy fast, call a sacred assembly, gather the people, consecrate the assembly, bring together the elders, gather the children, those nursing at the breast. Let the bridegrooms leave their rooms and the brides their chambers. Let the priests and priestesses who minister before the Lord weep between the portico and the altar. Let them say, spare your people, Lord. Do not make your inheritance an object of scorn a byword among the nations. Why should they say among the peoples, where is their God? Second reading, segunda lectura. Segundo Corintios, capítulo 5, versículos 20 a capítulo 6, versículo 2. Jesús ha restaurado nuestra relación con Dios, nuestro Dios amoroso. Sin embargo, nuestra relación con Dios Yo y los demás es una reflexión y renovación continua. Así que somos embajadores de Cristo, como si Dios los exhortará a ustedes por medio de nosotros y nosotras. En nombre de Cristo les rogamos que se reconcilien con Dios. Al que no cometió pecado alguno por nosotros y nosotras, Dios los trató como pecador para que Él En él recibiramos la justicia de Dios. Nosotros y nosotras, colaboradores de Dios, le rogamos que no reciben su gracia en vano. Porque él dice, en el momento propicio te escuché y en el día de salvación te ayudé. Les digo que este es el momento propicio de Dios. Hoy es el día de salvación. Our gospel reading is taken from Matthew 6, verses 1 to 6, and 16 to 8 from the New International Version. The external practices should not outweigh the internal practice of prayer and inner reflection. Be careful not to practice your righteousness in front of others to be seen by them. If you do, you will have no reward from your creator in heaven. So when you give to the needy, Do not announce it with trumpets as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and on the streets to be honored by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing so that your giving may be in secret. Then your creator who sees what is done in secret will reward you. And when you pray, Do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your creator who is unseen. Then your creator who sees what is done in secret will reward you. When you fast, do not look somber as the hypocrites do for they disfigure their faces to show others they are fasting truly i tell you they have received their reward in full but when you fast put oil in your head and wash your face so that it will not be obvious to others that you are fasting but only to your creator who is unseen and your creator who sees what is done in secret will reward you
And now we're going to invite you to take a plate, which we hope that you already have. Uh, not a paper plate, not a styrofoam plate, please. Make sure that it's, it's either glass or ceramic uh, or china of some sort. And uh, either a match, uh, I'm using a match. Um, you may have a candle handy, which is just as good. Um, and in just a moment, I'm going to ask Reverend Alejandro to bless the plates, and then I'm going to bless the matches and candles. Hold up your plates, levanten sus platos. Mm -hmm. 
Dios, a medida que tomamos el elemento simple del plato. God, as we take the simple element of the plate, se nos recuerda el pan que normalmente se coloca en él. We are reminded of the bread usually placed on it, tomada durante la comunión, which is during, taken during communion. Ese pan es el pan de vida. That bread is the bread of life que nos sostiene y nos recuerda nuestra propia santidad which sustains us, reminds us of our own holiness. Les comprometemos estas, estos platos como recordatorio de nuestra propia fragilidad, que al igual que el plan, pan se puede romper en pedazos. We commit these plates to you as a reminder of our own fragility that, like the bread, can be broken to pieces. Amen. And if you will hold up your candle or your match, God, as we take the simple element of a match, we're reminded of the flame of fire that descended to earth on Pentecost. We honor this flame just as we honor the light of God that shines not only to light the way for us, but also guides us through the valley of the shadow of death. I would invite you now to light your match. Turn your plate upside down. Be careful. Yes, please be careful. You will notice that I'm just running the flame against the bottom of the plate, which creates soot. Don't burn yourself. Once you have done that, I would invite you to take your finger, run it through the soot, and impose the ashes on your head in the form of a cross. Saying these words, repeat in your own language, from the dust I came and to dust I will return. And I do want to thank um, Skip Chasey, who is on this call, for helping us figure out a safe way to create the ashes. We want to remind you that the word for Lent is resilience. Resilience, that's the word keep in mind over the next 40 days as we journey together in this Lenten season. Reverend Alejandro is going to share what I just shared once he gets his ashes up there. Les recuerdo, I, I was challenged, but I did it. Me tomó un poco de tiempo, pero lo hice. I dropped the match, I was afraid I'm gonna let myself on fire. Um, Les recuerdo que la palabra para la cuaresma es resiliencia. Recuerden, mediten. Y cada domingo, uh, durante la cuaresma, vamos a estar meditando sobre un tema, uh, sobre esa palabra, la cual nos va a llevar adelante. So tonight, the word is rest and reflection. And we look forward to Sunday when the word is remember. So esta noche las palabras de resiliencia son descansar y reflexionar. Y así nos vamos a preparar para que el domingo uh, la palabra es recordar. Once again, we thank you for being with us tonight. It's good to see. I, I scrolled through uh, to see all of the people here. It's so good to see some old friends, some people that I haven't even seen in 15, 16 years. Thank you for being here. We hope to see more and more and more of you. Yes. Amen. God bless you. And Reverend Alejandro will pray our benediction. Now, I, we've got the, what I'm going to say and, and what your response is. Tengo allí lo que voy a decir y lo que la respuesta es. 
So in case you have any doubt, in caso si tienen duda, the part that says all is what you repeat. So la parte que dice todos is la parte que ustedes van a repetir. I'm going to say it in English and then in Spanish, and then you repeat. May the love and spirit of God be with you all. Que el amor y el Espíritu de Dios esté con todos y todas ustedes. And with, and your, with spirit. your spirit. And may the blessing of God our power for y que la bendición de Dios todopoderoso en el nombre del Creador, Hijo Espíritu Santo, Padre, Hijo Espíritu Santo, descend upon you and your loved ones, descend sobre ustedes, y sus seres queridos, and remain with you forevermore, y, para, y permanezca para siempre. Amen. Amen.